Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com, and in this video, we're going to go deeper into Facebook advertising data. Last week, I published a video where we analyzed two ad sets that I had set up, and I actually increased the bid to scale them a little bit. So we're going to revisit those two Facebook advertising campaigns and ad sets that I was running last week now that I have more data. And after recording that video, I went in and added an additional, I believe, about 15 ad sets sets, um, interests, lookalikes, and fan page ad sets, all of them at the $5 per day mark. So what I've done is I've added even more data to this. I'm running more ads. I'm getting more traffic. I'm scaling these campaigns out to different audiences, and I'm testing them with the $5 Facebook ad kind of system or that kind of plan that I laid out for you in the separate video. If you haven't seen that video, it's in the description. You can get it there, but we're going to analyze the data on all of these different campaigns right here live with you. So I'm excited to share what's working for me. Um, I've got a lot of data in here. There's nearly 20 different ad sets for us to go through. And my goal with this video is twofold. Number one, I really want to give you kind of the information that you need so you can make educated decisions on your Facebook advertising campaigns. And number two is I want to give you the confidence that you need to be able to move forward in doing doing more Facebook advertising, obviously with the goal of achieving some successful ROI Facebook advertising campaigns. So let's jump right in and get inside of the data so we can see what's been going on since we last connected here. So I'm clicking on the ad set to go in and you can see these top two are the ones we were working with last time. And you can see I upped them to $15 per day budget each with the goal of having today had spent my $90, which is my average customer value. So here we are reconnecting to see what happened. You can see my cost per click here maintain the same. It went up a tiny bit here, but that doesn't matter. My amount spent is right at about the $90 mark. And we go over here on the right, and this is this is the first place that I really look and care about. You can see that this lookalike audience has brought in two separate customers at a cost of $45 per customer, which is big time cash flow positive. You can see that this ad set up here on the retargeting has brought in one new customer at a cost of $89.99. And this is really perfect. This is the example I was really hoping to show you is that had I turned this campaign off at $60 or at $70 of ad spend, I potentially could have missed out on a sale. Now that I've seen one sale within my KPI, which is about a $90 customer, average customer order value, I now can let this campaign run for another $90 of spend and potentially get, I don't know, maybe two or three or four new customers. Maybe I just get one more and it continues to run at break even. It doesn't really matter. What I am excited about is that for all of this ad spend that I've had, right, for all of these clicks that I've generated and for all of these leads that I've generated, I break even right? So it's cost me nothing for these 255 leads right here. On this one, I'm actually cash flow positive right here on this account. So these 239 leads have come at a profit for me, and I can literally double my cost per acquisition. So looking at this here, what I want to go ahead and do at this point is I'm going to increase the budget on this one because my KPI, because I'm so far within my KPIs, that I'm willing to spend more money every day on this ad set. Now I'm not going to do a big change. I'm going to jump in. I'm just going to up it to $25 a day, which means that in four days, I'm going to be spending enough to kind of essentially expect another sale, right? Every four days, I'd be spending $100, which is right around my $90 average customer order mark. And I'm going to be able to let this one run with even more traffic and more leads. And obviously, I'm going to monitor this. Now, generally, when I load up this screen, I'm going to start down here at the bottom line. The reason why I didn't start here is mainly because of the fact that none of these new ad sets that you're seeing as I'm scrolling through, none of these have 
have really driven any sales yet. So what's happened is my sales number down here in the bottom, this 146 per action for three, that number is skewed. That data is skewed because I've been running these two longer than I've been running these. So the only number I'm going to monitor down here on the bottom is my cost per lead. And you can see at this point, I'm getting still, even with running all of these different 15 plus ad sets, right? You can see the numbers are working really well. I'm within 32 cents per lead is my average cost. Me knowing my funnel, knowing my KPIs from kind of historical data, I'm good to spend up to 60, 70, even 80 cents per lead. And I can be cash flow kind of positive on a lead in that price frame in about a month. So this is a great sign to me. And the fact that this number is well within my KPIs, I don't have to go inside of each one of these different ad sets and kind of like, I don't really need to pay attention, right? If I've got one sitting at a dollar a lead, which I don't even think I do, this is amazing. I got some at 16 cents per lead from a couple of these interests. That's really powerful. So now what I'm in a position to do is at $5 a day, I've spent 15 bucks each on these. I'm just going to let those things run. I'm literally going to let this go and accrue more data. In, in some sense, I could potentially increase the budget, but I'm really going to wait this out out long enough to see I want to spend $90 in each of these which is going to take me quite a few days to, to honestly get to that point I want to I want to spend that much money and I want to let this go for a long time because what I've done is I've really spread out my advertising dollars through all of these different interests right they're all running to the same advertisement just as I showed you when I set it all up but the cool part is I'm getting a lot of reach in a lot of different areas. My campaign is based on conversions and the conversion is based on the leads. And I need to be giving Facebook at least 25 to 50 leads per week to be seeding Facebook's machine learning algorithm with enough data for them to go get me more leads of people who are interested in what I have. And I can see here, I've been running these ads for about four or five days. I'm clearly giving Facebook enough data on who my best leads are things are really working you can see 80 leads from this ad set 30 leads from this ad set 53 leads here so i'm just going to let this run i could go in here and increase my budget in these to 10 or 15 dollars a day if i want to wanted to speed up the process of accruing data but as you might be able to see behind me, I'm actually in uh, Tacoma. I'm in the greater Seattle area. And starting Monday, I'm going to head into Canada and kind of do a little bit of a road trip through some of the forests and mountains of Canada. So I'm not expecting to have great data and I'm not expecting to be able to show up every single morning and monitor these results, which is what I would want to do if I started increasing my budget very quickly. So I'm in a lifestyle position to let these go and it's going to take me about what i have about 75 dollars to spend at five dollars per day that's upwards of two weeks so i can now go forward in this lifestyle adventure that i'm doing and if i'm off the grid for a week straight i'm not going to be kind of like mentally thinking about it and caring about it right i don't need to scale these campaigns uh, i'm also driving two, three, four times this traffic from organic search engine traffic. Um, but I wanted to give you the understanding of how to analyze this and how this all works. Now you can see over here, the names of my interests, like I've got this lookalike to interest 11, interest seven. You can also see that the ones that I started with was, um, I've got my retargeting. These are visitors to my website right here. The first lookalike, and then I've got my fan page audience. I'm retargeting my fan page. And you notice I use this interest one, interest two, interest three, all the way to interest number 15, essentially. So as I duplicated out those ad sets and set up different interests, right? I usually put the name of the interest inside of here so I can have an identifier. I didn't want to confuse you or get you interested in the different interests that I'm running to. So I just use these numbers instead. So I can go in one click and see what those interests are. But as you're building this for yourself, I would put the actual name, right? So if it's interest, Tony Robbins, interest, Brendan Burchard, you can literally put that here at the ad set name level. And what that allows you to do is quickly look and be like, okay, cool. My 
My Tony Robbins ad set is giving me great numbers. My Brendan Burchard's giving me great numbers. My Hay House Publishing is not giving me great numbers, etc., etc. Makes it really easy when you actually put the interest name itself here in the ad set name itself. But really, like this is the game, right? I'm I've I've explained this many different ways. I'm personally going about this in a way that allows me to be patient. And again, it's that marathon runner's pace idea is what I'm after because I'm not in a position where I'm like eager. I don't need to scale these, right? What I want to do is give Facebook's machine learning time. I want to give them enough funding and enough data for Facebook's machine learning to go out and find me the absolute best leads for my audience. And those are going to result in conversions based on the performance of my funnel that I've identified through months and years of trial and error with Facebook advertising. So this is my approach. If you're in a situation where you're wanting to scale fast and get in and go, know that, that these ad campaigns with me being at this level, so far below my KPI of 80 cents per lead, I could up these to 15, 20 dollars each if I wanted to. I would then need to be a little bit more proactive, and I need to spend more time in here. Which that's just not how I want to grow my business. I'm in this for the long haul. I'm really excited to kind of slow and steady grow my audience through Facebook advertising. At this rate, I'm spending I don't know maybe um, 150 dollars, 100 dollars a day, 150 dollars a day. I think that's a great number for this portion. I'm also going to be setting up new ads to retarget the customers and leads who are coming in here and offering them additional products that I have. And this is how I'm structuring Facebook to deliver me cold traffic to turn my warm traffic into leads. And then I structure a whole new campaign on top of this that takes my leads and my customers and it offers them the next step in the funnel, which is more products, potentially my membership, et cetera, et cetera. And this is how I automate my Facebook advertising in a way that allows me to get it all set up. And then I can go off the grid, go camping. I can go travel. I can go fly to Asia. I can spend a week or two here or there. And it really takes a minimal amount of time and energy from me to invest. If I wanted to scale these things hard, I'd probably bring on a professional to keep an eye on it much closer because I would I would want that attention to detail. So if you're looking to scale to 300, 500, $1,000 a day in ad spend, know that it's going to take a little bit more time in here analyzing the data and keeping an eye on things because as you get to $50 a day and $100 a day per ad set, you can see your numbers shift really quickly, right? And you don't want any super fast shifts out of your KPIs because that's how you can go cash flow negative. So I'm erroring a little bit more on the conservative side with this ad set because that's what I'm after at this point in my life. But I really feel like this gives you the full understanding that you need to be able to move forward kind of with your ad sets and analyze the data that you're getting. Know when is a good time to scale? When is it not a good time to scale? If any of these were out of KPIs here, the lead number, as long as this number is good for me, I'm good with it. You can see I brought in over 1300 leads here this week. That number is going to continue to climb. And when I come back in to reanalyze these here in the future, I may bring you with me. Um, but if it just looks the same and I'm just going to let this go slow and steady wins the race, then that's just what I'm going to do. So I just wanted to show you what's going on after I've made these changes. Uh, again, if you haven't been through the $5 per day Facebook ad strategy video, I highly recommend that. That is going to be in the description. That describes this method that I'm doing with all of these $5 per day. It gives you the theory behind it. Now you can see how this comes kind of like works itself out and what the results look like once I'm accruing data here. If you have any questions for me about this strategy, about what we're looking at here together, hit me in the comments below. I'm happy to answer as often as I can. Uh, one note on comments, I, man, I came back from camping for a few days and really did not have the ability to get back and respond to every single comment because I'm overwhelmed with the comments. So I thank you. If I don't get back with your comment personally, I still appreciate the comments and know that I, I really do appreciate you, your time and your comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up here in YouTube. If you like this video, if you want, you can share this video. You can embed this video on your website. If it would help your audience, I'm happy to get this kind of information out there because my goal is to help you and all Facebook advertisers out there become 
more effective advertisers because that's how you can grow and scale your online business quickly, which is the vision and the goal and the dream that I'm holding for you. I would love to see you become a successful internet entrepreneur, and I hope this video has been helpful on your path to that destination. All right, thank you again for your time, and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Be well.